So today, we are going to make a video comparison between the Ryzen 5 3600X and the Ryzen 7 3700X. We are going to test their gaming performance as well as their streaming performance while gaming at the same time. The reason I am doing this video is to help you decide which one to choose if you plan on building a gaming streaming PC, as the price difference between them may help you choose the right parts for your setup and also stay within your budget. Now without further ado, let's start with it. On the side, we have the 3600X, a 6-core, 12-threaded CPU, which costs $199. And on the other side, we have an 8-core, 16-threaded processor, which costs $299. Both CPUs come with an included air cooler, and with the 3700X, for $100 more, we get the Wraith Prism RGB cooler and two extra cores. In our tests, we aren't going to use the original coolers though to make the comparison as fair as possible. Instead, we are going to use an AIO in order to allow both processors boost at higher clock speeds. All components used for these benchmarks are listed in the description below, so make sure to check that out. We also made sure that all games used for our benchmarks won't bottleneck the GPU, and I can tell you the results may not be so obvious as you think. So watch till the end. For both CPUs, we had Precision Boost Overdrive turned on. For our first test, we ran Assassin's Creed Odyssey using the Ryzen 5. We got an average of 72 frames per second and with the Ryzen 7, we got 76 frames per second. 1% lows had almost identical difference, as you can see on the screen, and that is to be expected, of course. Moving to our next game, we run World War Z. The Ryzen 5 managed to get an average of 180 frames, following just behind the Ryzen 7 that had 182 frames per second on average, while 1% lows were here identical. Now, running Rainbow Six, we saw the Ryzen 5 holding 183 frames on average, where the Ryzen 7 gave us 188 frames on average. Here, 1% lows were also exactly the same. But let's see what happened next. Here happens something strange. Although I run the benchmark over five times in order to make sure it was accurate and see what exactly caused this. We have here the Ryzen 5 hitting 98 frames per second on average, while the Ryzen 7 was behind, hitting only 87 frames on average. Now, this happened due to the fact that our cheap AIO cooler couldn't handle the spikes in temperature from the Ryzen 7 to keep it cool enough. As a result, the CPU didn't boost as high as the Ryzen 5. I also ran a stress test with the original Wraith cooler and noticed that under synthetic stress, the 3700X didn't manage to surpass 3.9 GHz on all cores. While the Ryzen 5, with its stock cooler, although being worse, boosted a bit over 4 GHz. Now, streaming while gaming, we had the following results. The 3700X, streaming at 1080p with OBS and running at default settings, hit an average of 63 frames, compared to 76 it had on average without streaming. Streaming at 1440p had a bigger impact on performance, giving us only 55 frames on average. And when we compare it to the Ryzen 5 3600X, we see that it gave us 56 frames, so that's almost identical considering the margin of error, of course. 
I also have a video where I test the streaming capabilities of the 3600X more intensively, so if you are interested, you can check that also. For our last test, I swapped the CPU cooler with the Kraken X62 in order to allow them to run a bit cooler. So now we see that the 3700X performs better, giving us 76 frames on average, while the 3600X managed to hit 67 frames per second on average. Now, of course, more CPU-intensive games will benefit from the extra two cores. But, in my opinion, if you are tight on your budget, you should definitely consider buying the Ryzen 5 instead. And if you have the money and are looking for something more future-proof, you should go with the 3700X for your build, as it will make a big difference and save you a lot of time with video editing as well. But definitely consider buying a better cooling solution for it. I personally think that if you want to keep the cost as low as possible, you could buy the 3600 non-X model, which at the moment costs $162 and makes it almost $140 cheaper than the 3700X and performs really well in gaming and streaming. That's it for today, guys. I hope this video will help you on deciding which CPU suits for you best. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Also, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Peace.